Vladimir Putin is threatening more attacks on Ukraine after a series of deadly strikes just today. He claims it's retaliation for an explosion that damaged a crucial bridge between Russia and Crimea. Now, President Biden was quick to condemn the attacks, but Russian responded, saying that the more that Washington encourages Ukraine, the harder it's going to be to find a diplomatic solution. Fresh terror in Ukraine today as Russian missiles rock city across the country, including the capital, Kyiv, where the first attacks in months killed civilians and shattered a relative sense of safety. President Biden condemning what he calls the brutality of Putin's illegal war, promising to stand with Ukraine as long as it takes. Russian President Vladimir Putin calling the strikes retaliation for this explosion that seriously damaged a bridge serving as a crucial military supply line between Russia and the annexed Crimean Peninsula. While Ukraine has not publicly admitted responsibility, President Putin branded it a terrorist attack. The Ukrainian army is attacking military targets to try to win a war against the Russian armed forces Putin is attacking civilians to terrorize Ukrainians. It comes after a series of Russian battlefield losses that have ratcheted up the pressure on Putin, who's threatened to use nuclear weapons and instituted a draft to force Russians to fight. Thousands now fleeing the country as rare protests have ignited in the streets. Uh, he's running out of precision-guided munitions. Uh, the Russian army uh, is not fighting effectively. The call-up's been a disaster. The United Nations General Assembly holding an emergency session, weighing a resolution to condemn the sudden escalation in the conflict, including Russia's attempted annexation of four regions of Ukraine. Leaders from around the world once again forced to confront one man's war.